everybody. I have an idea and I wanted to share it with you and see what you thought. So I've already got a couple of things here on my mat. I got my score lines and um, a butterfly. And the reason those are there is because this is my second take on this video because I was having a brain cramp or something and I'm starting over. So um, I figured out the issue I was having. But anyway, I want to make a gatefold style card. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape and I'm going to make it a square. <clears throat> and I want my card to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So I can unlock this aspect ratio right here or right up here on this lock. And I'm going to just put four and a quarter by five and a half right there. And for the ease of my designing, because I don't like black, I'm going to just make it um, yellow. Ooh, that's a bright yellow. We'll go a softer yellow. Because the color I'm actually going to be using is yellow. So I'm going to move this down here, and I'm going to duplicate it. And so I'm taking my duplicate one up here, and I want it to be at right up as far in the left-hand corner as possible. So I'm going to put zero in my X and zero in my Y. And that is going to put it straight up there in the little, in the, in the zero, zero. Does that make sense? Then I'm going to take my butterfly and I'm going to move it to the front. And I'm going to kind of just place it um, here. And I want it to be centered. So I'm going to hold my shift key and click on it and so now you can see over here that both of these are highlighted gray and I'm going to align them horizontally. So now it's technically centered. It doesn't look like it's centered because it's kind of tilted but it is and that's perfectly fine with me. So the next thing I'm going to do with those two things selected I am going to slice. I'm going to take my butterfly out and oh I just found this butterfly by doing a butterfly search in um, in the images over here and it's um, one I'm subscribed to and it is also um, it's a print and cut image but so anyways I move it down here and I'm gonna move this out I don't need this I don't want this so I'm gonna delete it so now my card front or my card base that piece right here is four and a quarter by five and a half so half of four and a quarter is 2.125. So I'm going to add another shape to my mat. And I'm going to unlock it because I don't need it to be perfectly widthed or sized. I just need it to be bigger than my piece here. And I'm going to put it at zero. And no, I'm going to put it at 2.125 and zero. So now it is exactly in the half of this piece here. It's right in the middle of it. So I'm going to now click on the yellow piece and I'll hold my shift key down and click on the black piece and I am going to slice those. This I am now done with. I can delete it. This I am now done with. I can delete it. These are my butterflies. So these are going to be the gate folds of my card. So because this is going to be on the left side and this is going to be on the right side, when I open them up, they need to be opposite. So I'm going to flip them. So I'm just going to flip it horizontally and flip this one horizontally. Then I'm going to bring this piece into here and I'm going to just overlap them a little bit. And this is where my brain checked out last time. I wasn't overlapped enough and I went to cut this even after I hit weld and they weren't welded and it cut the line. So, so now that those are visually lined up to me, I'm going to just kind of encompass them and I'm going to align them horizontally. Oh, not horizontally. I always get that confused. Try that again. I'm going to line them up and we're going to line them up vertically. So now I know that the tops are perfectly at the top and the bottoms are perfectly at the bottom and I am going to weld them. Ta-da! So the lines went away. So for me, that's what I want is I want the lines to go away. 
but I still need to put my score lines in there. So I'm going to undo that really quick. And I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it back at zero and zero. So it's right in my top left corner. And I know that this is at 2.125 and this is four and a quarter and this is another 2.125. But it's easy to just drag my score line. I'm going to move it to the front. Arrange, send to front, so I can see it. And I'm just going to drag it and put it right over that line. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to move it to front. And I'm going to put it right on this line. I don't want score lines involved in my weld though, or they won't weld, or they will disappear. So I'm going to take my three images and I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click on them over here. You can click on them over here and I'm going to weld them now. So now if I click on my score line and I say arrange and move to front, I don't see the cut lines anymore. I just see my card and my score line. Now I need to attach those so I'm going to click on them here, hold my shift key, click and attach. All three of those are in gray. Those are what I'm working with and I'm going to click attach. So now wherever I move them they're staying together. So think of attach as like an anchor. It is holding my score lines, it's anchoring my score lines right where I want them to be. Okay? So I'm going to now print this. I'm going to print the butterfly. And you won't see that because that's on my printer, but I'm going to I'm going to show you this part where I click make it. And I'm going to continue because oh, I keep forgetting. Stop. Hold up. Back up. I need a, a piece in here that I'm going to stamp or write my sentiment on. So I'm going to add another shape. And we'll make it white. And because I know that the back piece of my card is four and a quarter by five and a half, I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make this one four by five and a quarter. So it will fit perfectly inside my card and giving me a little bit of a border all the way around. Okay, now we can go to make it. So now I have my butterfly that's a print and cut, my white piece is going to go on the center of my card, and then my card front. So I'm going to hit continue. and I'm going to send it to my printer. So I only want the one, it's going to my brother, and you want the add bleed on. This allows you to have um, no white edges around your cut. So um, let's go ahead and I will click print. I've already print and cut mine because like I said, I got to the second part of this video and I had to start over. So I've already printed mine. I'm going to just cancel out of that. I'm gonna select my maker and I will see you at my machine. Okay, as I said just a second ago, I had already print and cutted mine, cut mine out. I don't think cutted is a word. So this is how it comes out of the printer. If you have not done print and cut before, your machine will read these uh, sensor marks to know where to cut, and it cut it out for me perfectly, exactly as I wanted, and now I'm ready to move on. The reason I had to restart this video is my weld did not um, weld actually because my pieces were not touching so and I didn't notice that so I it actually cut the folds of my cards as well as score them so we're starting over let me get back into design space and it's I'm just flipping my mat over and it's gonna work just fine oh. Once it finds my machine. Now, I'm just using close to my heart cardstock. This was, um, I cut this at eight and a half by 11. It was a 12 by 12 piece of the white daisy cardstock. Ran it through my printer, works every time. And, and then this is the lemon cardstock. And I can show you right here, our cardstocks, close to my heart, 
if you didn't know this, see the difference in colors? They're two-sided on the colors. So you have a light side and a darker side. I want the light side to be the outside of my card, so that's why I have it cutting this way. <clears throat> and then I just use the 80-pound cardstock on my um, on my. Uh, I can't even think, you guys. 80-pound cardstock in Design Space to cut this. So because I have score lines, it's asking me for my scoring wheel. And if you don't have a maker, it'll ask you for your scoring stylus. Totally fine. So I'm going to tip the camera so you can watch what it does. So it's going to go and detect my scoring stylus and my scoring wheel. throw my score lines on there and then it's going to ask me to put the blade in. So without removing my mat, you just put your blade in. And hit go again. Done. I'm just going to take it off of my mat. Get my boo boo piece off of here, too. Now, the white piece that's going to go on the inside, I'm going to just use the same piece of cardstock that I used for my print and cut image. It is fine. I can do that. It won't hurt anything at all. And it saves cardstock. So now, I should have done that this way. If you didn't know, if you have problems getting something off a mat because it's too sticky, this is actually a brand new mat, flip it and then peel your mat off of the paper and it'll help keep your paper from curling. So let's put my cover back over it. And so now I have my pieces. I'm going to move you back over here so you can see better. So there are my score lines. I'm just going to fold on those score, on those score lines. Crease it with my bone folder. So 
So next I'm going to just put my piece of cardstock in the inside. That's an empty tape runner. And then while my thing is closed, I'm going to just take my butterfly and I'm going to put some puppy dots on the back of him or her. You don't need a whole bunch. I like to get just kind of the main edge areas. Maybe one more. And for added fun, I'm going to take our one of our clear shimmer brushes from close to my heart. And I'm just going to add some glitter to the color of the um, butterfly. And the shimmer brush, it's kind of like a Wink of Stella, but I like the tips on these better. If you can see the glitter, it's just a it's just a hint of glitter on there, making it a little shimmery. And I'm gonna take off the backing of these pop dots that are all over my house because I just throw them everywhere. And then I'm going to place the butterfly inside of the cutout. Boy. Now when your card is closed, you see the butterfly, and when the card is open, the butterfly is still there. So I'm going to find some cute little fun frenzy stamp to put on the front of this, and maybe some other butterflies. I do have a stamp set from Close to My Heart, um, I think it's called Butterfly Friendship, that I'm going to add to the front of this and on the inside, but that's a way you can do a gate card with a print and cut image. So let me know if you have any questions, um, how it works for you, and please share any ideas that you come up with and make yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.